Hey everybody, welcome to Cooking in the Country Kitchen with Kuda and Cassie. I'm Cassie. And I'm Kuda. And today we're diving into Cousin Connie's cookbook to make some of the classical chocolate chip coconut cookies. They're cool. And awesome. So let's get right to it. For the folks following along at home, you will need two and a quarter cups of flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one three quarter teaspoon salt, two sticks of butter, three quarter cup granulated white sugar, three quarter cup packed brown sugar, one teaspoon vanilla extract, two eggs, one and three quarter cup chocolate chips, and one handful of premium coconut flakes. Now we need to combine the flour And then the baking soda. And then the salt into a mixing bowl. Then preheat your oven to 375. Now we need to soften two sticks of butter. Oh! Ooh, looks like we left the peas porridge in there. Ooh. Well, I guess we can just bring that to the church potluck next Sunday. But anyways, we will be softening this for about 15 seconds. Now we're going to mix it into this bowl. Now that our butter is nice and soft, we can add the sugars. Now we stir in the vanilla extract. Ah! It's Cassie's kitty cat Kiki! What is he doing in here? Oh, you're such a good boy! Do you want some loving? Do you want some loving? Oh! Ooh. You uh, better go do that elsewhere. Now moving on, we need two lightly beaten eggs. Now one thing we have done is develop a natural method for uh, doing that. So beating that. We do this one egg at a time. For the second egg. Now it's time to mix the dry ingredients in with the wet ingredients. Cassie's gonna do that. Oops. Yeah, babe. Not right now, I'm busy. I'm quick, I'm in a, I'm on set right now with Cassie. Yeah. Okay. Bye. See you later. We're actually making these cookies because we're having some friends coming over later for a football party. So as soon as this, these babies are in the oven, it's time for football. Now it's time to add the other ingredients. First, we're going to add the coconut flakes. And 
now we're going to add the chocolate chips, one at a time. That's best for a proper mixture. Jump shot. Whew, two left. It may take extra long to mix them that way, but when you see the finished product, the time involved is well worth it. Now it's time to lay them out on the pan. We're just going to use you know, simple, flat, air-baked pans here. Now, the probably, you know, the traditional method that you've always seen for making cookie dough is, uh, making cookies is just slapping the dough on the pan. Now, one thing that I have found that the best way to press them, boom, nice and flat. Then you gotta work them a little bit. But yep, that is a nice and perfect flat cookie right there. As you can see, the textures are entirely different compared to the one that got slapped down in the pan like most people and the ones that are slightly pressed by the armpit press. You can see that the texture is way better and that'll create a more evenly baked cookie. And these you bake for 9 to 11 minutes. Now that the cookies are in the oven, it's a prime and convenient time to get ready for the packet party. Go Packers! As you can see, they are perfect golden brown. Now the cookies are ready, it's time to join the party. Would you have a cat? My allergies are out. The evenly baked texture in these cookies was amazing. Mm, these cookies are really good. Not bad. Pretty good. To make our friends feel better about what they ate at our house, I just need to tell you that this is a bowl that the cat was in and it was not in the other one. Don't even try to pull that out. <laughs> well, you know what? That's BS.